Another way that you can find uh, some true angles and cutting edges on your <coughs> project is to use a V-block, which already has a 90 degree angle to it. You set it down in your vise. And you can use, these are used to dog down your material on the flat surface of your mill, but they also have 90 degree angles and you can use them as spacers in between to set your material up. Make sure your spacers and whatever you're putting inside is, is longer than the V-block or you're just going to clamp the V-block and that's it. So there it's set in. We've got overhang here and here on my extra parts to clamp to. Clamp it down. Use your brass hammer. Tap, tap, tighten, tap, tap, tighten. Same thing as you did in 101. And there's your setup so you can come across with your mill and get your first step is try and get a 90 degree angle here, a flat surface to work from and then find your 45s as well. But this is just another way to do setup to do odd angles. This is a setup uh, basically like I showed you earlier, uh, just a little different format, different size blocks, but uh, same concept. This part is ready to be finished and brought down to tolerance. Well, that's what this individual is doing now. He's found his 45 degree angles on each side and he's chewed up the top. Now he's starting to bring it and shrink it down to the specific dimension that we're looking for. This is precision work. We are going to, get, going to be about one or two thou out of tolerance from the respectable measurements. So here's set up and, uh, and finish.